Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gion. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gion. Probably one of the most difficult things that we all experience is when our bodies are in trouble. Health problems. Listen, all problems are difficult. I get that. You know, you are struggling for lack of money or lack of employment or even in your relationships. All, all that is very painful. But when it's about your body, your health, <laughs> oof. You know, sometimes we are so unaware of the importance of every part of our body until this little finger gets hurt. You know, a simple thing like a little finger. And then when it's hurting, you are like, I cannot think straight. <laughs> One little finger. But what about the rest of the body and the complexity of our systems? you know, functions that are so normal for everybody, like breathing, or using the bathroom, eating, walking, different functions that are so normal. And when the season of uh, illnesses just come to our lives, let me tell you, that's rough. My friend, if you are going through a crisis in your health, all that I can tell you today is, it will pass. Be patient. It's going to be okay. Now, you have heard this from many people, right? And you have heard that for a long time, perhaps. You are thinking, but when? When is going to be okay? I don't see any outcome of this situation. Well, there are practical things, of course, that you can do in one of those is always check for a second opinion. You know, it is interesting, but sometimes we, we just trust the doctor that we are talking to and uh, not always they are right. So it is a good thing to, if possible, talk to different specialists about your health situation. And um, not all of them really care, you know, sadly, many people involved in in the health system are there just for the money. Not everybody, like in all fields, right? Some people are there just for the money. So therefore, those who really care in the medical field, they are going to pay special attention to you. So yes, it will pass. I'm telling you this, it's gonna, it's gonna be okay. But you need to do something else, which is trying to find solutions to the problem and somebody eventually is going to figure out what the problem is and then you go through the process because it will pass the thing is when you go through those difficulties you feel that the days are extremely slow right you don't feel time moving forward it's like you are stuck in the same hour in the same afternoon especially the nights when you are in pain and struggling. You just feel that those nights are eternal. Not because of good things, but because you are struggling. You cannot wait to see the sun shining in the morning and hoping that somebody's gonna come to help you, etc. Even then, you need to think, one day I'll be fine. It will pass. Having the right attitude is going to help you greatly. Basically, it's about being patient and tolerant with the situation. Some things you cannot change. And you just need to go through the process and deal with it because it will pass. Remember that you always have somebody, a friend that you can call and talk about it. Pray together. Even if 
you cannot fix anything. At least you had the opportunity to talk and express your feelings to somebody. It will pass. With faith in God, my friend, with the help of everybody around you, even with limited resources, it will pass. Whatever is your health difficulty, it will pass. Now, have faith in God. Have faith in whatever processes you are doing, procedures, treatments, medicines. Have faith that all that is going to work. Because one day when, when all these things kick in and work, you will realize that actually, yes, it did pass because things are going to get better for you every time you have hope and faith in God. It will pass, my friend. Just be patient for now. It will pass. By Giancarlo Vitutoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Hey, 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 hey. That's all, that's all, that's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.